Hey everybody. <laughs> nice intro. Uh, we do need some intro music. We do. Suggestions are welcome, Brian. Yeah. If you guys want to choreograph uh, some music for us and send it to me, and I'll put that in and credit you. And then you'll become very super famous. But, uh, what? <laughs> but uh, this, this is another um, analysis we'll be doing of a movie coming out here shortly, because figure, you know, well, change things a up a little ways, bit. A little yeah. ways to go and set come out so shortly. Um, but, you know, uh, you know, again, I like I like to just do things differently every now and then on my channel, add some new content that's different from podcasts and, you know, reviews and all that stuff. Uh, so this is an analysis of the Jurassic World trailer, which we just got done watching. Dun, 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 dun. Um, so, general thoughts, feelings, emotions about the trailer? We'll go ahead and say that it was my first and only time seeing the trailer. I know I'm late to it, but for some reason, I just never got to it yeah. before now. But um, it's okay, Dave. We guess, still love you. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Upon my initial viewing, I, I I definitely wasn't as as excited though as I was about Star Wars, yeah. the other big big trailer. Uh, Which we also did an big analysis fran on. Yeah, big franchise trailer that's yeah. out right now. I guess this was an actual trailer too. Lots of a tease. I was more yeah. more excited by the Star Wars tease than the actual Jurassic World yeah. trailer. Not to say that it was bad or anything. I just. But it was kind of an average movie trailer. Yeah. Rather than, like, to get you pumped about a new, you know, this well, new part of the franchise. But again, I could, you know, I could watch it again and think a little differently. Yeah. Um, with me, though, it's like, you know, because I knew they've been wanting to do, like, a Jurassic Park, you yeah, know, I feel like it's continuation. It's works for a while. Yeah, you know, for, I don't know, like, ten years or more, they've been wanting to do, like, another was Jurassic the last Park. One? Uh, 2001. Yeah, I think it's, like, 01. 01, yeah. So, yeah, it's been, like, ten years. Um, and there's been, like, a lot of different, like, uh, theories thrown around and, I guess, like, you know, ideas for what the movie's going to be about. Some of them sounded kind of cool. Some of them just sounded like something you'd see on, like, you know, the sci-fi channel, like, some kind of, you know. Yeah, the plot does seem kind of <laughs> basic and straightforward. Yeah. Um, From the trailer. Maybe they just uh, well, shy the, on twist The music there, in the but... background, if you aren't even watching that trailer, it just sounds like it's a thriller or mystery yeah. film. Like there's not the big yeah, when everything just drops burst out, just and, and yeah. like it, the action film that it's going to be. I think yeah. it just kind of makes you. It gives a lot of questions yeah. that you want answers to. Yeah, and obviously um, that's gonna take people to the theater. Yeah, because you know, like uh, not if knowing Chris Pratt doesn't get them there first. Oh, of course. Yeah. address that. Star Lord himself. Um. So you know, I, I had no idea like what to expect from the trailer. Uh, so, you know, like, when I first heard that, like, the trailer was out, so I was like, yes! Alright, cool. Naturally, I went right to YouTube, looked it up. Um, after I watched it, I was like, oh, I did that, this... just decided not to watch it, and then I'll wait for continued the upon my business, yeah. And I was like, oh, wait, I'll have, I'll have to actually do the podcast, so I yeah. should have watched it first, but... That's uh, why you're yeah. just... I decided that that's, you're you're holding us back and... from getting the sponsorships. Yeah. I hope you know that. It can't just be me, it... Well, clearly it has. Who's, who's been approaching you? It, it clearly has nothing to do with my editing skills, which are just phenomenal. Like they're bar none. I agree. But Spielberg. I just, you know, I want to yeah. know who's approaching you guys. You know, why is it? Like I, I've had some not, offers. I've had, I've had a few talks. I've yeah. had a few yeah. offers from other podcast teams, yeah. but I'm sticking with you guys. Yeah. Oh, who, Eddie Trunk. Maybe. Yeah. I'm not allowed to that say until awesome. the year's over, yeah. but it could be Trunk. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, back, oh, to, the back, to, back to Jurassic was World. Was that the meeting we were okay. talking about I'm, in I'm, January? I'm under contract. Should... Yeah, yeah, we, we, we can't talk Wait, about where it. Where are you going? <laughs> anyway, so. leaving the podcast already? <laughs> we're we're can, getting can off we topic. We're just out? a stepping can we stone. In your... We can, but I'm not going to. Because, you know, I, I think this is going to draw more people in. Yeah, this is awkward. It's going to draw people in because they're like, what is what is Jordan doing? Like, who is he talking with? So it's going to draw people in. They're going to keep up with the podcast. And it might be explained They're going to have a later. reaction podcast themselves. They right? will. <laughs> so I hope all... they do, if we can inspire people. Yeah. Again, we, this won't, is... we won't watch it. This is all part of the improv uh, podcast we got going on. A revolutionary genre. Yeah, well, I wasn't sure what to think going into the trailer. Natural segue. Yeah. yeah. Just to get people away yeah. from my <laughs> issues right now. Anyway, Jurassic World. I wasn't sure what to expect. I wouldn't say it was necessarily good or mm -hmm. bad. Yeah. I'm curious. Yeah. I want to wait, you know, to actually see it before yeah. I give my f final verdict, yeah. obviously. You know, we've got, what, six months. But I kind of like the Jurassic World idea. You know, yeah. it's a park. I don't want to go to that park. And yeah. Of course, you know, 
something bad is going to happen. Yeah. Kind of like the first movie. I, 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 saw, a few, I saw a few elements from the first film. You know, yeah. the little kids and, you know, he's, they give, like you said, when we were watching it, that mm-hmm. foreshadowing. Yeah. his mom saying. Oh, if you see something, yeah. you know, run, it's kind of like, oh, I'm not foreshadow at all. Yeah. Um, but yeah, like, uh, um, because I was actually talking to my older brother, like, because, um, you know, he's he's a bit of a uh, movie guru, I guess. Like, he, you know, sees movies, you know, far more frequently than I do. Um, also a love guru. Yeah. Um, the point? Uh, so, basically, like, you know, after I saw the trailer. Fine, fine you know, film. I was talking to him about it. And my main thing was, like, you know, when I saw the trailer is, I was kind of like, well, after all the things that happened on the island in the park, why would they reopen it? But he actually did bring yeah. up a good point that it's like, well, it, Money. It's like because you know every everything. I mean, why part, do people keep? Why are they making this film? Yeah, money. It's pretty much every uh, horror movie's logic. <laughs> but like it, it like, does why actually. Why would you do this? Because. Yeah. Because money. But it, it does kind of make sense because you know every everything park and every like you know roller coaster or whatever has had their you know accidents and deaths and stuff like that. But people still go to those theme parks. I mean, granted, none of the theme parks have living creatures that eat you if yes. they escape. Yet. Oh, I mean, there was know, this one time. But. <laughs> We'll not Six go into flags. that. Yeah. But, uh. Um, no, it was Five Flags after that. So that actually does kind of make sense because even though it does have a bad reputation, like, you know, they just have to basically be like, new management. It's better secured. You're rich. Spend you, your money and see dinosaurs. And you know, people are going to fill it up each day. Yeah. Because they're like, well, okay, sure. They that had was, some that deaths. happened in the past. It's yeah. not going to happen this time. It's under new management. Nobody ever thinks it's going to happen this time. Yeah. Um, but, you know, in the trailer you see, like, people just kayaking, taking a nice little, you know, trip down the, uh, you know, this river and some stegosaurus on the side, just kind of, you know, in their natural habitat, more or less. Um, they can't see us. Yeah. <laughs> and then they have, like, that Sea World thing where, like, they've got this great white shark hanging from a uh, crane and this giant, um, not plesiosaur, some kind of giant sea-dwelling creature. I'm surprised you don't know your dinosaurs, um, Jay. Uh, it's at the tip of my t- Leo Pleridon. Where's I the think. dinosaur handbook? <laughs> we'll, we'll get into that later after the podcast. Uh, some kind of Leo Pleridon type creature just leaps out of the water and eats it. Uh, and it, you know, of course, splashes the people and they're like, oh, ha, 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 that's cool. Um, but, you know, it, it is kind of like, still, wh- why? Why would you, why are you doing this? Especially like, you know, the creatures that can swim. That could easily escape into the ocean and just wreak havoc upon the ocean the habitat of the ocean or whatever and just overall eat people. Um, then, like, the... And Godzilla will be forced to come. Yeah, and then Godzilla, right? yeah, they'll have to fight and cause more mayhem and destruction. Uh, and then, I like, you know... It would be totally against that crossover. And... It would be pretty badass. Uh, and then you've got your, you know, pterosaur, you know, species, the ones that can fly. How do, how do they keep those contained? They can easily fly off the island, just migrate. So like many birds questions. Do. Imagine there's a yeah. cabin in the woods type sort of cybernetic net. Possibly. Okay, okay. I like where this is going. But basically, like, in the third in the third dress Park movie, though, it. at the end, you know, they had those, uh, you know, pterodactyl, uh, uh, you know, pterosaur-type flying dinosaurs just T-Rex. flying off. Yeah, T-Rex flying <laughs> in the sky um, off the distance, and it's like, okay, so clearly they they have the leisure to just go, you know, just fly away. Um, so, like, I, I wonder if they're going to address that or if it's just going to be like, eh, don't worry about it. Makes more sense if you don't think about it. It almost seems like it's kind of just there. This this new Spend movie is just its own thing. Yeah. yeah. I don't know how much they're gonna address of the previous films. Well, I was also disappointed. Um, I mean, you know, that the original cast members like Jeff Goldblum, Sam Neill, Say, where's um, and Laura Dern, because like there was a big rumor that like all three of them were gonna return for it, or you know, yeah. at least one of them, or you know, something like that. Might still be a cameo. Yeah, they might still be a Could cameo, be. which I'm hoping for, because it's like. What's the point of making a Jurassic Park continuation without at least one of those actors? Um, or it'll be a James Franco Rise of the Planet of the Apes situation where it's like you see his picture in the background, or yeah. video, video or something. Yeah. Um, so hopefully they'll at least be a cameo, like you know, I, maybe the grand opening, and you just see them watching TV at home. And they're like, ah, shit, not this <laughs> again. Um, you know, it, that they could just throw something in like that. I'd be content. But if they're not in it at all, it's just kind of like. Yeah, even if it's, be, I think there's just gotta be some yeah form. there'll be some sort of reference at least yeah um so you know again like you were saying there's there's a lot of mystery going on like why are they like genetically making their own dinosaur I just think you know it progresses from the little kid mm-hmm. going there then bet something bad happens then you're introduced to the the team yeah, yeah. and then 
it keeps asking more questions. Yeah. Because, yeah, you, know, uh, you know, in the trailer, like, Chris Pratt uh, kind of shows up. I guess he's some kind of, I don't know, big game hunter, he some kind of expert. He seems to have the authority to, yeah, some uh, to evacuate the park. Yeah. Um, you know, he's kind of just... Why wouldn't he? He's I guess, Chris Pratt. No, he's Star Wars. Yeah. And I guess he's kind of just addressing the obvious the things. Department in Indiana. Uh, <laughs> like when they mention, it's like, oh, we've learned a bunch Maybe of that genetics. Is his role. What? That's the crossover from Parks yeah. and Recreation. <laughs> That's why he has to say into a, what is obviously a Parks and Recreation matter. Yeah. Will Aziz be in it? I hope Hopefully. so. Okay. I hope so. Then I'll definitely be there at the midnight yeah. showing. But, um, yeah, it, it does seem like, uh, you know, he's kind of addressing the obvious questions. It's kind of like, why are you splicing dinosaurs? Which, you know, it's not explained he's in the, the, the voice trailer. the of reason. Um, they're, you know, I assume it's some kind of, like, you know, BS explanation. It's like, we're scientists, and it's fun, we're gonna genetically enhance stuff. Because of science. Because of science. <laughs> because um, And maybe science. it's just kind of like, well, hey, everyone knows all the dinosaurs we have, so we created a new one as a grand attraction. It's like, well, the park's actually losing money, so... Um, yeah, so... Honestly, we wouldn't be surprised if that has something to do with it. Yeah, so, you know, that, that could easily be, you know, worked really into it. Another good theory. I'm not strong about that theory, but I could see it. Yeah. Um, and then, like, towards the end, you know, they're, you know, the, the giant mutated dinosaur obviously has escaped and wreaking havoc. Uh, then towards the end, you see, like, you know, they release these velociraptors, and then Chris Pratt, just kind of riding on a motorcycle alongside the velociraptors, is he working with the velociraptors? Is he a, is he a dinosaur whisperer? <laughs> What's going on? Or is dinosaur he just, whisperer. Yeah. 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 That's it. Or is he just a badass? And it's just kind of like, I'm going to ride alongside For velociraptors. For the film's sake, yeah. probably that. Probably. Are they um, controlling the Velociraptors? Yeah, somehow? it's like... Oh, after this discussion, I'm a little more excited now. <laughs> yeah. Like, even if it we is... We asked the real questions. Yeah, the questions that you didn't even know you wanted to know. You're knowing now. Um, Word. Exactly. To your mother. <laughs> and her mother. And her mother's mother. Yeah. Her mother's mother's just, father. Just an ongoing you you know, family you. tree. Um, but yeah, you know, it's kind of like... Uh, I don't know. I feel like even if it is maybe a... The, the story's maybe a bit kind of a campy B-movie type plot. You, you know, I... I'll, that I'll was sh- my initial opinion. Yeah. In the, the end, it's probably going to be predictable. But yeah. As long as it's a good film yeah. and As long as it's enjoyable. a nice ride. You know, doesn't be, mean, yeah, doesn't mean it doesn't mean it... doesn't mean it's going to be can't bad. be uh, yeah. not enjoyable. Yeah. Like, you know... So That's how a lot of action movies are. Yeah. yeah. Like Expendables. How many people went to the Expendables expecting a story? It's like, you just want to see all these old guys... We yeah. grew up with and like, you know, I, mean, I, I did, but yeah, know, well, yeah. The second one was better, yeah, mainly because they actually had a sense. Second of humor. one was better, third one was third one didn't even bother seeing it's PG 13, yeah. and even, yeah, even Stallone has now said yeah. he regrets making it PG 13. The third one just did like, not, didn't mistake. bring it, didn't bring the house down. I'm waiting for the expendables. I mean, how, Ooh. like, how do you female version that is apparently actually in production? Huh. So, like, like Charlie's because Angels expanded. I guess, because there's enough female action stars. I guess. I'm not saying there shouldn't be or anything. I'm just saying I really can't think of any. Not Another really. podcast idea. Yeah. Female actions to do. Yeah. Yeah. Go watch that one directly after this one. Yes. It's like an Inception. That it, it's like the fourth season of Arrested Development, where you can go from this podcast yeah. to that podcast. Again. This this is the all only the beauty of improv podcasting. You think we have we no idea what we're doing, but no, we bring it back full circle and we give you better ideas, more yeah. ideas. Watch out and for educate our, you. you know, Expendables wish cast list. Exactly. I'm, I'm pretty I'm sure you're writing ideas down right now. Yeah. yeah, we've got like you know casting. Betty White. Yeah. <laughs> I, yeah, I would go see it just for Betty she's White. She's an action star, right? Totally. Um, is she she's alive. She is. Oh. She's still hanging in there. Hey, hey, Betty, how you doing? It's yeah, the only golden girl that's making it. Oh, yeah. Um, so but yeah, uh, you know, back this to got off topic. Yeah, back to Jurassic World. Uh, Jurassic gotta, World, Betty White. Hey, we. we she yeah, we she do could it all. you know maybe she could make an appearance. Maybe she's a dinosaur. I, would, I, heard, I heard a rumor she's in it. Yeah, she's the thing they're splicing. Yeah, or Larry King. Both of them are quite old, so they might be the experts I mean, that they bring. Earliest known. They humans. look the same by now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's kind of like, okay, you were alive at that time. How do we stop them? They don't know exactly which band Corey Taylor wears a mask in. No. Yeah. It's a if you get, it's if slip, you get that slip reference, stour, right? <laughs> I think it's Stone Knot. Oh, Stone Knot. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But, um... Or maybe it's Bull. He might wear a mask on Bull. 
Who knows? I don't know. It's maybe, Corey Taylor. Maybe if you he, get that reference, then. Maybe he's the happy mask salesman. If you get that reference, you're my favorite person of all time. Please so, leave your comments. Yeah, leave comments <laughs> below if you get these references that we're making. Like, not just in this podcast or the analysis. All podcasts. Well, everything we've done. Uh, of, every of, not one. every podcast, just podcasts that we do. Yeah. I'm sorry. We gotta... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because other podcasts leave you just, like, empty. You want, you know, you're like, what? What is going on here? What a waste of my time. Yeah. They don't answer the questions that we answer for you. This one, you yes. laugh, you cry, you learn things. Yeah. We can do a questions podcast. People yeah. that leave their comments and Please questions do. will leave your questions. We'll answer yeah, what we'll you do, need. We'll, we'll do, do a Q&A. that you didn't even know. Yeah. Once again, just the Q&A inseminating podcast. you with information. Exactly. Just a bunch of Qs. Yeah. We'll give just, you some A's. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Something but, I'm not used to. <laughs> but uh, any any closing statements about uh, Jurassic World, what we're expecting oh, or anything Jurassic like World. that? Oh, Jurassic World, okay. Yeah, we, we keep getting off topic, so let's, let's yeah, try and bring like, it back together. I like Jurassic World. Uh, I think it'll be a fine film. Yeah. I'm not sure if it'll... Blow me away, or exceed expectations. Yeah. Like I'm not, I'm not expecting. I'm not it going to be... in. I'm not going in with high. Yeah. I'm not going in. I'm not with going in low, low, low expectations. Yeah. yeah I'm yeah, just yeah. gonna be like, I I'm hope this is fairly, good, and yeah. if it's good, I'll be. Hope for the best. I don't really have, you know. Yeah. I'm not either expectations. Either I'm not way. upset yeah. with the cast. Yeah. So. Oh yeah. yeah, I'll enjoy it for Chris. I'll enjoy Chris Pratt's part in it. Yeah. yeah. As long as he can carry the movie. But Which I, mean, I, I think he's, he, I think he can. By yeah. f- with Guardians of the Galaxy, by far, has proven that he can. Yeah. yeah. So overall, you know, I'm I'm still looking forward to yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. So you know, again, even if it doesn't uh, match up to you know uh, Jurassic Park, the first one in Lost Worlds, which were amazing. Um, I mean, you know, those special effects still stack up today's standards. Yeah. I mean, which the is first the, one was 1993, and it's yeah. still awesome. Like, yeah, you still see those special effects, and you're like, man, that was. Those Spielberg, pretty real. Spielberg guy's pretty good. Yeah, he re- yeah. Spielberg knows what he's doing. Those Jews. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not start this again, Dave. You know what they're doing? I love those Jews. <laughs> Jew lover. Exactly. Yeah. You couldn't say you know I couldn't say that in Germany in 1944. No, you couldn't. I'm saying it now. Yes, yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and end this before this gets any any worse and off topic. So, <sighs> Jurassic World. That's what I do? I kill it. Just, that's kind. of... <laughs> This was a fine podcast, and I just... It. No, it's an analysis. It was this is an analysis of the trailer. This could, this could be Dave's last podcast. <laughs> it's probably our best. Yeah. Um, Any last words in case I'm it is? I'm like being courted by the Eddie Trunk podcast. I'm being all off to True prison. Truecar.com. Yeah. Truecar.com. Dollar Shave Club. We love you. Yeah. It's been it's been, it's been been a good run. Sponsor us. Yeah. But, uh, but yeah, so Jurassic World, that was our analysis and kind of just what we're... Expecting to see from the film. If you all have any different thoughts, leave comments below. We'd love to hear what you all think. So, until next time, everyone, cheers.